Don't try to stop me, viewers. Don't try to stop me, viewers. Don't you dare try to stop me, viewers. Try to stop me. And let's play Dragon Warrior! I'm H.C. Bailey, and we're going through Charlotte Castle at really, really low levels. Nuts. Uh, yeah, heal up, heal up. I healed up since the last episode uh, using Erdrick's armor. By the way, you see those two staircases that I just passed up there? Uh, those are fake. Well, they're not fake, but they lead to an infinite loop around and around and around, and you can't get anything there, so ignore them. Remember what someone was saying back at Remoldar about the Dragon Lord's castle? Well, let's check that out. There's his throne up there, but he's not here. Hmm. I wonder where he could have gone. Yeah, I might let Erdrick's armor heal me a little bit, but if I go below 50, you know, that's too much. So let's uh, search his throne. Oh, hmm. It's letting the wind blow? Passing wind? Let's find out. What could be back here? It's a secret passage! Alright, let's take the stairs. Whoa, I can't see anything now. Let's use Radiant. Normally, I would use a torch to conserve MP, but for the purpose of making this video, I want you to actually see where the hell I'm going. So we're going to be using Radiant for a little while. Holy cow. So far, so good. The encounter rate isn't that insane here. Holy crap, wizards! Whew. Wizards can cast hurt more and that will kill you! These guys can breathe fire on me and kill you! Not me, you. Whoa, there's stairs everywhere. This place is a maze! Fortunately, Erdrick's armor will help against, uh, well, hurt more. That can deal upwards of, like, 40 damage if you do not have Erdrick's armor. It is ridiculously powerful. Make sure you save 8 MP for outside, so that way we can get outside quickly enough. Oh, this is incredibly dangerous, but so far we're doing pretty good. I haven't ran into anything too tough. Yeah, I probably just jinxed myself. Crap! Blue dragons! They're even harder than the green ones. If you couldn't guess. There's even red dragons, but I don't think you run into them unless you're on, like, the really lower levels. Stone Man. Now, this guy's kind of interesting because he is very susceptible to sleep, unlike just about every other enemy in the area. So, if you run into one, I recommend just putting him to sleep because your chances of running are actually less than the chances of getting sleep to work on him. So that's kind of a nice way of conserving HP and MP, so... But every other enemy is totally, or well not immune, but pretty darn resistant to sleep, like this guy. Fortunately, they make running away pretty easy in this game, so we should be fine. Oh, I'm not actually gonna go after the Dragon Lord. <laughs> no, I'm not that insane. Okay, uh, yeah, we need to relight Radiance. You see how it's getting smaller? Eventually, it'll just completely go out. But we're almost to our destination anyway. I'm doing pretty good, actually. Usually I'm like down to my last couple MP by the time I get through to uh, what I want to get here. Oh, come on. I'm almost there. Crap. Crap. Come on, get out of there. Uh, yeah, heal, heal. Usually I use all my herbs on the way through here, but I guess maybe, you know, I used up all my bad luck fighting that, uh, what was that guy? The axe knight there. Nuts. He took away my nuts. Whew, we're almost there. Come on. Come on. Okay, we're there. Yes! Made it! Okay, so you see here, attack power 72. Take this chest. We find Erdrick's sword. Alright. And wow! Look at what that does to my attack power. It's amazing. That's why I didn't purchase the flame sword earlier. And I still want to get a better shield. Unfortunately, there is no Erdrick shield in the game, but there's another one that I want to buy soon enough. But let's get out of here, then. I wonder what keeps the castle from sinking into the swamp, anyway. Eh, let's use our wings to uh, get back to Tantacle there and rest up and then grind for some gold to get that shield I want at Cantlin. All right, we're back, and I've... Well, gotten all the gold that we need, so let's head over to that shop. It's right over here. And you need to have about 15,000 gold in order to buy it. It's really expensive, 
but very much worth it. You see my defense there? What was that again? 64? Let's buy the shield then. Could have gotten a flame sword too, but I figured, eh, why not? Why bother? Just go for the Erdrich sword. But this is the best shield in the game. You do not find it, you must buy it. So, there you are. Nope, nope, that's everything. Let's check it out. Wow, that's pretty good. We're almost ready to take on some harder enemies. So, let's head on back to Hawksness. Uh, not in the town, but actually outside the town. That's where I want to do my next level grinding. Alright, we're back here, north of Hawksness. This is where you want to do your gold grinding, or level grinding, when you're at level 13. It's the same enemies that I met up with right back at the Shrine of Holy there. Except, it's much closer to harder enemies that we can fight. I wouldn't fight any harder enemies until you get up to level 14, because your defense just won't be high enough to uh, take them on. But now that we are at level 14, our defense power has exceeded 66. So, we can take on some harder enemies to the south, if they will ever get out of my way. There we go. I knew you could do it. But yeah, basically, the way level grinding is going to work pretty much for the rest of the game is you don't want to fight enemies whose attack power exceeds your defense power. Which, now, with the Silver Shield and level 14, we should be good enough. So... These enemies will be much easier, and the Erdrich's armor can work its magic. We should pretty much never need to use heal for level grinding ever again, as long as we stay in these easier domains. Knights have pretty high attack power, uh, 76, I think. So that's th this guy is the reason why we want to wait until level 14 before actually moving on to this domain here, because now south of Hawksness is where the harder enemies are. We could even go further south of Hawksness if we wanted to, uh, where they got like Magi Wyverns and Metal Slimes, but they're just totally not worth it. It's so inefficient to fight them. They just don't give enough experience to compensate for fighting them, so I'm not going to worry about that. If your M HP gets really low, then you may want to head north and, you know, start walking around there to regain your HP like I am. So I'm going to take care of that, and I'm going to keep on grinding in this area until I reach level 17. All right, we're almost up to level 17 here. It took me an hour and 20 minutes to get up here, and that's with Erdrich's sword and Erdrich's armor, which, you know, maybe perhaps during a normal game, you might not have that good equipment at this point. So yeah, the level grinding is insane in this game. But very much well worth it, because we just got up to level 17. All right. And for doing so, we learn a new spell, Heal More. It restores uh, almost 100 HP, or yeah, 100 HP for the cost of 10 MP. So that's pretty nice. Uh, I also learned another spell at level 15, Repel. It's essentially the same thing as a fairy water. It keeps enemies from attacking you on the world map if you're sufficiently stronger than them. But anyway, to do the next level grinding, I want to actually go inside Hawksness now. Our defense power has exceeded 88, so we've exceeded the attack power of every enemy in Hawksness now. If you've chosen a low agility growth, your defense power probably hasn't gone this high yet. So, you know, the enemies are probably too hard. I'd probably stay outside where we were before. But yeah, now we can meet up with green dragons as normal enemies around here. Uh, a lot of the other hard enemies around Cantalin are here, so... Yeah, it's pretty rough, but we can we can take him now. We can take him. And you want to stay in these desert tiles here, because that's where you get the highest encounter rate, as opposed to, well, the other tiles around here. Got werewolves here. They're pretty vanilla enemy, pretty easy to kill. I think just about every enemy around here has 65 HP, if I'm, or a maximum of 65 HP, if I recall correctly. But yeah, the other enemies around here, you got Star Wyverns, they can cast Heal more on themselves, so you probably actually want to cast Stop Spell on them, but everyone else, you don't need spells against. You don't need to, don't bother using Sleep or anything like that, because it just costs well, too much, because you'll run out of MP in it. You'll have to go back to, uh, what is it? You'll have to go back to Tantagal in order to heal up, actually, so... And the other enemy around here, Wizards, they can cast Hurt more against you. But don't bother casting Staff Spell on them, because they're pretty high resistance against it. So, you know, it's just not worth it. But yeah, cast Staff Spell against these guys, because they just, well, they'll cast Heal more, and it'll undo all your work against them. Ah, here's a Wizard. Nuts. 
Well, that's okay. We can take him. But anyway, what I want to do around here is I want to grind up to level 19 for the final battle against the Dragon Lord himself. Next time on Let's Play Dragon Warrior! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.